This is NDTV and you are watching NDTV Prime. A city in a garden, Singapore. Is it a word that conjures up images of sunlight streaming through pristine gardens and parks, clouds rushing through the clear blue sky? Perhaps it did for you, not for me, not for a very long time. Singapore for me is where challenges are overcome, a city where anything is possible. The thriving metropolis where startups like mine, nearby.com, are registered. A place where practical solutions are implemented to overcome the odds. The Singaporeans create impactful and memorable experiences to enrich the lives of others. Around every corner, incredible experiences are being crafted, painted, cooked, designed, or built by locals who share a common trait, passion. I am Ankur Variku and I choose to be a Singapore insider. In two days, two episodes, I discover the Singapore of today where passion is everywhere you look and experience it as a citizen of the world. Woo! An interpret traveler in his quest for adventure, life, culture and tradition through its people. My two days in Singapore are off to a thrilling start. Have you driven such cars before? I have never. We are still driving on the streets. Okay. So we're going to keep it as safe as possible. These cars are really powerful, so when they take off, they really will go. Take off. Yeah, so we're going to let you push the car a little bit when okay. there's a stretch of uh, empty road. Nice. But of course, uh, you know, safety first, all right? Great. Uh, but if you're going to go too slow, I'm going to take the car back from you. All do right, that. so. Thank you so much, man. All right, here we are, shall Thank we? Thank you, man. This is the light behind the wheel of a Lamborghini Gallardo. Give a little bit of gas and the car will start rolling. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Wow. What a way to see the sights of Singapore. Not to worry, don't be nervous. The wind at your beck and call. Hi. I was meant to be behind the wheels of this car. Oh, watch it, be careful of the taxi. That's right, coming on the brakes. Yes. From 200 back down to zero in just three seconds. Wow. You just go whack the brakes and then come. Oh. Wow. Someone who has craved for such a drill this is the dream. To the city's streets, its tunnels, across the Singapore Grand Prix circuit and zipping past its towering skyscrapers. Now this is adventure. This 
we'll be safe, right? Awesome. Uh, I, I like playing it safe. I, I, I think it's, it's stupid for people to do anything that risks their life, uh, even for a moment of pleasure, uh, for things that give you 30 seconds of glory or something. We set? Good. Awesome. Let's go. Why would anyone zip line for 60 kilometers an hour for almost a kilometer? Why would anyone do that? Why? It's crazy. Because you live only once. exhilarating zipline experience ends on the sandy shores of Siloso Beach. We've had a fast day so far. We went fast cars, we went ziplining at 60 kilometers per hour, and here I am at the Tiang Baru Market, having true local Singaporean cuisine. So what are we making today, Vijay? We're going to be making uh, one of our best-selling drinks. Uh -huh. It's called the Pineapple Rock. I'm in the district of one north in Singapore at this place called Launchpad. This is the Silicon Valley of Singapore. We've had a fast day today. We went fast cars, we went zip lining at 60 kilometers per hour. Now it's time for lunch, so I thought fast food. I'm here at the Tiang Baru Market. Lunch, more like uh, five. This is the true blue traditional Singaporean chicken rice. Uh, it's a three day production, so it takes three days to make even the Rice is boiled in chicken broth. This is uh, Chinese vegetarian noodles. So I thought I'll help myself with some vegetarian food. Hainanese curry rice, but with British influence. This is carrot cake. Uh, I couldn't believe it when I saw it, because my impression of a carrot cake is a dessert, but this is a meal in itself. Super excited to try this out. And I've been told this is Madras biryani, so I'll believe it. Ganega juice, sugar cane. I had to have some Indianness attached to my lunch. The fast pace of a Saturday afternoon relaxes as the sun makes its way down the horizon. Singapore's mood changes. People start to fill up the streets next to their Saturday evening haunts. Singapore is where the socializers, clubbers, pubbers, music lovers meet for a night out of parties, concerts and hangouts. From being a footloose and fancy free teenager, my friend Vijay turned his passions for bartending, history and foraging into one of the most successful and innovative bars in Singapore, giving people a unique one-of-a-kind taste of the city. So I'm behind the, the bar counter at the Native and Vijay of course is a dear friend who runs Native and has been a passionate guy around this. It's a fantastic concept because the, the name itself is very indicative of what you represent. For us, uh, what we wanted to do was move forward with our tradition and uh, the ideas like who we are where we're from and what's around us. Nice. So we use that as a, as a template. We work with uh, regional spirits uh -huh. and craftsmen. 
So if you just take a quick look at our back bar, you won't find like any scotch, bourbon or tequilas. Yeah. What we have is like Indian whiskey, Indian rum, uh, Sri Lankan arak, uh, Thai gins. And this idea doesn't just stop here. So like our furniture, our aprons, our ceramics, even nice. our music, we work with uh, local and regional musicians. Not a lot of people think there's a lot of local music going on, uh -huh. but we found one artist and that led us to another, another. And right now, in total, uh, we got about five to 600 songs that power our wow. playlist, yeah. How do you bring passion to your work? Because these are, these are spirits that are identified. So mm. do you have a lab or your own setup or your entire mental makeup that gets you to discover more, innovate? Since I've been bartending, there's always been like a template and mm -hmm. like a little twist on that. So it's always been safe. Uh -huh. So like now that we're using all these spirits and we know nothing about it, uh, it's quite exciting because uh, you come to work daily and you're discovering something new. And uh, I think that excitement and passion is what leads us to what we're doing now. Was there a point when you knew that this is what you wanted to do? So I've been doing this for 10 years now. Wow. So I was in school looking for some spare cash and then yeah. slowly it turned into something that I want to do for a long time. So what are we making today, Vijay? So we're going to be making one of our best sellers today. It's called the Pineapple Arak. Okay. So if you could just reach out for the bottle that says uh, Ceylon Arak over here. there. Yeah. So okay. uh, this is a spirit that we get from Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. What they do is they ferment the coconut flour sap into a beverage called toddy. Okay. And then they distill yeah. it in uh, Sri Lankan wood. Nice. So we use the coconut sugar, the water, the meat, the oil, the husk. So some Sri Lankan spices and a little bit of uh, pineapple skins wow. over there. Let's get to it. Yeah. Okay, help me take out that uh, bottle over there that says pineapple, yeah. right? I'm gonna How much of this? So 60 ml of that. 60 ml of that. I'm just gonna put the glass out here for you. All right. All right, just pour this? it straight into the glass. Wow. All right, so we're gonna okay. garnish it with a uh, oven baked pineapple with uh -huh. a little bit of uh, Sri Lankan cinnamon on top. Wow. So we use the pineapple skins for the infusion because uh -huh. they have a lot of flavors. Okay. And then the remaining pineapples, we grill them. Uh -huh. So the idea behind this is what we call a closed loop cocktail. Okay. So we don't waste anything. So this is the drink? Yeah, so have a little bit of the pineapple. Okay. Mmm. It's pretty good, yeah. flavors. This to me is Singapore at its true best. It doesn't stop to amaze me. Even something as inane as a bar has been brought to life by a place like Native. And everything about this place just smells so nice. And it smells Singapore. As night falls, the city awakens to a new kind of life, filled with pulsating music to quench the appetite of the soul. This is the Silicon Valley of Singapore. So all around me, our, our corporate districts, so, so there are the businesses around, there are the headquarters of large companies. During the day, at Hawker Street, which is just a, a food joint for people who work here, but in the night, it converts into this massive melting pot of people who come here and work here. Edwin, yeah. who runs Timber, yeah. is with me. I'd Thank love you. to know how you came up with this concept, Edwin. We run about six other live music restaurants in Singapore. Okay. Every Friday night, yeah. customers want variety, they want quality and consistency, and they want speed. So we want our food out in 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. We, we then say, no, we can't do this alone. So we call it Timber Plus. So okay. this concept is called Timber Plus. Nice. It's Timber Plus are many of our friends in the yeah. food industry. Yeah. So we get other friends. It could be Western food, it could be Japanese food, it could be Singaporean food. Nice. All come together and we, we curate the different food concepts. Wow. And we run the music programming, the events and the content. We run a bottle shop, so you have about 200 different kinds of craft beers that you could taste any time of the day. Really? And really, our job is mainly a placemaker, a curator of sorts. Nice. And it's really a partnership. So they, we don't consider them tenants. Yeah. It's a partnership between us and our friends in the food industry. Wonderful. Summer Plus is about uh, slightly over a year old. All right. Yeah. Wow. How's been the response so far? It's been, it's been overwhelming. I it's see it's over... buzzing right now. Yes, yes, yes. Is this the, the busiest day you would no, have? No, this is actually one of the quietest days because we have a weekend now. And this is a business district, so you don't okay. get a normal corporate crowd. Right. So if you look at a customer, it's mainly families that lives around here. Right. So obviously our business days was on a Friday night with a, uh, with the corporates like Apple and DC Lucasfilm, and Oracle right. comes and, and kind of networks with the startups. You know, in Singapore, one in four are actually foreigners who live in Singapore. So we do get a, quite a substantial number of Singaporeans, right. but we also have a lot of foreigners who actually live there. 
probably work or study here in Singapore. INSEAD is just across the road. Nice. We've got a lot of postgraduate students from INSEAD coming across for happy hours yeah. and networking. Yeah. Nice. So we don't really get the tourist groups, tour groups, but for people who are adventurous, they want something off the beaten track, yeah. not an orchard road, but yeah. really coming to experience where locals are, exactly. and listen to local bands, yeah. I think we are the place for that. Do you have ambitions of opening this more? Yeah, yeah, we, we are looking to open different locations in Singapore, maybe overseas, out of yeah. Singapore as well, yeah. in the region. We used to be a startup as well. Yes, yes, I, yeah. I still have the entrepreneurial blood in me. Yeah. And I always said that, you know, food, music, a bit of alcohol is great yeah. for networking and nice. for, for ideas to cross pollinate yeah. and for things to really get really happen. Wonderful. Local bands just started. I cannot wait to go and join them. This has been a terrific first day in Singapore. Next time you get to see a completely different image of the city. Thank you so much, Edwin. Thank this you, was a you, pleasure. Thank you terrific thank you. work. Thank you. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. After a fun-filled first day in Singapore, I cannot wait for the adventures that tomorrow holds. Meeting more Singaporeans who are passionate about all they do. I learn about the culture, art and the vibrant pulse of the city. Teeming with possibilities. That is a story for next time.